Here we go. Got everything? Yeah, I'm okay. Here, honey. An offering for the king. <laughs> See you later, Mom. Listen to your teacher, okay? And, uh, give the king my best. Dance with an angel, Mom. Yeah. Maybe we'll tango today instead of waltz. That's our way of saying goodbye. My husband is an Air Force pilot and refers to fighter planes as angels. When he'd go on a mission that kept him away from home, I'd tell him in frustration to go dance with his angels. Matilda grew up hearing this, and now she uses it all the time. There's a nice view of the King's Bridge from our house. That iron giant is the pride of Grace Maria, our capital city. In the old quarter of the city beyond the bridge, you can make out an ancient castle, which is even more famous than the bridge. My daughter Matilda is going there on a field trip today. In the throne room rests the Golden King. He's been smiling for a good 600 years now. The king was a gentle person who was a bit on the small side, but he crafted a giant suit of armor that convinced his enemies to surrender without a single fight. Afterwards, they found such warmth in his smile that they bowed down to him in humility. Anyway, that's how the story goes. His smiling face still touches the hearts of our people. The very face my daughter and the others got on a bus to see this morning. That was a brand new day. The song on the radio seems to be a perfect match for the sunny weather. what's happening that awful sound and the shaking was that a blast of wind from an explosion the castle disappeared behind a pillar of flame Attention all pilots! Our capital city, Grace Maria, is under attack by unknown aircraft. Damage from the attacks is widespread throughout the city. All planes scramble and intercept all threats immediately. Team, time to take off. They took out King's Bridge! Who's attacking? What the hell is going on? Control, get those planes out fast! Roger that. Preparing for takeoff. I want a damage assessment now! We've taken extensive damage from those bombers, including a number of civilian casualties! What's going on with the bombers? 
control system ghost eye to all scrambling defense craft. The situation has not yet been ascertained. We must implement an emergency reformation. Follow your individual instructions. Garuda One, you do not have a wingman. Let's see. Shamrock. Shamrock, are you alone too? Very well. As of now, you're Garuda Two. Okay.
tanks have been destroyed. Ghost Eye, how are things on the ground? We've managed to stave them off so far, but we've got to stay on constant alert. Roger that. I somehow managed to evacuate everyone. I just hope they don't drop a bomb on us. That's what I like to hear. Our Air Force is holding down the enemy. Keep it up. The Estovakian threat level is even lower now. Drive them out of Ameria. Icon to Strigan team. We are prepared to launch. Strigan leader to Igayan. We will commence mission operations once your delivery is complete. Attention all aircraft. We are ready for Nimbus launch. Begin the countdown. Booster ignition complete. Launch in five, four, three, two, one.
exit the combat zone. Maintain your course west to leave the airspace. Our military has escaped destruction because of your valiant efforts on the battlefield. But our capital, Grace Maria, has been temporarily occupied by Estevakian forces. And our central government has been usurped by them as well. The nation of Estevakia had declared war with our country as it simultaneously launched a surprise attack on Grace Maria. In response, the Republic of Emeria's political council unanimously adopted a resolution of open war against the Federal Republic of Estevakia. Our forces remaining on the Amerian mainland are still fighting in desperation to protect our country. Once our intelligence has been sorted and confirmed, the Republic of Amerias armed forces must immediately regroup and counterattack against the Federal Republic of Estovakia. The beautiful country of Ameria belongs to us, and only us, the Amerian people. Fire and smoke rises from the city before me. The King's Bridge is gone. Oh no. No! Matilda! I vaguely hear a scream of terror that sounds much like my own voice from afar. I feel as though the gold King's gentle smile is moving, moving farther away from me. Every now and then, I tell my daughter the story of the night some years ago. A night when the sky was radiant with shooting stars. That night, your father and I made countless wishes together. An asteroid called Ulysses came into Earth's orbit and disintegrated into millions of pieces which poured down on the land below. As we watched the shooting stars that night, fragments from the asteroid rained down on our eastern neighbor, Estovakia, damaging a great deal of their infrastructure and devastating their economy. Soon after, the news reported that their nation had fallen into a civil war, one that would last for years. Eventually, the internal strife was brought to an end when the generals came into power. In the midst of hardship, the citizens of Estovakia were convinced that the only way they could recover as a nation was to rely on a military government led by these generals. Before long, they went so far as to invade our nation, the Republic of Ameria. Our military was forced to retreat to Kesid, an island far to the west. My husband, a fighter pilot, also hasn't come home since. I walk on. I am unable to think. All I can do is follow the others. Ever since we came to the twisted remains of my daughter's school bus, 
my soul has left me. I am empty. Some of our tanks are parked at the approach to the bridge. of fate for me to see this. My pilot husband, who had left for work that day with the same loving look on his face as always. He had painted my name on his angel. I go into the crowd on the train and endure two weeks of pure hell before finally ending up at a refugee camp at the border. I don't know any of the names on the list. My compatriots, who have now become refugees, gather around a single radio to listen to the broadcast. Even though the station is broadcasting out of Gracemeria, Occupying forces have taken complete control of the airwaves. The enemy must have completely overtaken our capital, Grace Maria. And although newer parts of the city have suffered considerable damage, the castle and a significant section of the old quarter have escaped relatively unscathed. Okay. However, Thank God. the announcer went on to say that our castle was robbed of countless antiquities that once were elaborately displayed in our castle. Stripped bare. As the Estabakian military, it is our sworn duty to govern this crumbling nation and get it back on its feet, starting right here in Great Maria. I found a group of street children in front of the central station here, where the area has literally been reduced to a slum. Step on up here, little girl. What do you have to say about all this? Go dance with the angels, mister. My ears were not deceiving me. That voice belonged to my daughter, Matilda. I am Lieutenant Colonel Wojciech of the Estovakian Air Force. I arrived on a train to Grace Maria. To my detriment, I sustained a leg injury in the early stages of the war, relegating me to ground duty. I am now working as an intelligence officer for the Air Force. The ceiling has collapsed in a central station. From there, the city appears resigned to its fate beneath the Estovakian flag. What a pitiful sight. But at least there are no craters to mar the land. They are lucky in that sense. my spare clothing. Hmm? <laughs> they will not be so lucky with these documents. What a miserable city this must be, with their children in such a state.
The fine works of art once displayed in this castle were completely gone before the occupation forces arrived. Even the ancient armor of the Golden King, the collective heart and soul of the city's people, along with the crown, have disappeared without a trace. I must relay this unfortunate information back to the generals in my country. They were quite fond of those antiquities, 